on behalf of the Anonymous Collective, and the community within Ferguson, we are here with you today to present a list of demands we wish to see upon fulfilled by those in power. The shouts in Ferguson have been heard. It is up to those in seats of change to clear the blurred lines of military and police departments within the United States. These set of demands are all local to Ferguson. They were presented by Tef O, Tari and Russell, and Jeffrey Hill, all people from the community who have held multiple meetings with residents and local groups over the past weeks. The first demand is swift and impartial investigation by the Department of Justice into the Michael Brown shooting, as well as an expanded DOJ investigation into the patterns of civil rights violations by police across North St. Louis County. The second demand is an immediate arrest of Darren Wilson. The third demand is for County Prosecutor Robert McCulloch to stand down and allow a special prosecutor to be appointed. The fourth demand is to fire the Ferguson Police Chief Thomas Jackson. The fifth demand is accountability for police practices and policies, including effective civilian review regarding shootings and allegations of misconduct. The sixth demand is immediate de-escalation of militarized policing of protesters to protect constitutional rights. The seventh and final demand is the immediate release of individuals who have participated in protests and exercised their right to assemble and speak. Within national demands, the citizens of Ferguson implore Obama to come to Ferguson to meet with the people whose human rights have been violated by aggressive and militarized policing, including the family of the victim, Michael Brown. The second national demand is for Eric Holder to use the full resources and power of the Department of Justice to implement a nationwide investigation of systemic police brutality and harassment in black and brown communities. The third is to ensure transparency, accountability, and safety of all communities by requiring front-facing cameras in police departments with records of racial disparities in stops, arrests, killings, and excessive force complaints. The fourth and final national demand is for the immediate suspension without pay of law enforcement officers that have used or approved excessive use of force. Additionally, their personal information and policing history should be made available to the public. These are the demands of the Ferguson community. Anonymous only demands for all to sign Mike Brown's law, which requires all state, county, and local police to wear a camera. We also urge Governor Jay Nixon to step down from office. Until our demands are met, hack and protest will replace it. Yet we will cease from cyber attacks and events due to Mike Brown's father's request for peace and silence during this time of mourning. Rest assured, we here at Anonymous will remain vigilant, and we will oversee events with precaution and precision. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.